Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Magic Jewels with our Red Black Aggro deck. So, without further ado, I shall get into the games and see you there. Alright, we are in. Um, this one actually isn't too bad. It depends on what our opponent's playing because the Wrangle is going to be useful if it's a creature based matchup. And we need to hit another red source as well, but any land will get us into the last new Hellion for 8 damage potential. So, yeah, let's do it. We're also on the draw as well, so if we do get ourselves another mountain on the draw here, then this hand is perfect. That's technically going to be a mountain for us, so... Alright, we maybe have a slight nut draw here. We'll see. Is this white weenie? It is... Alright, as much as I really want to wrangle the free blade away, if I do that, we'll make it renown and then shock won't be able to hit it. So I think I'm probably going to have to take a turn off to shock it, um, just so that it doesn't get out of hand. Because I reckon he's probably going to put an aura on it, or even just get into combat. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play an ether hub, pass a turn. Shock it in response to an aura, or in response to him going to combat. See which one he goes for first. Another land. If he's got an always watching as well, we're going to have to shock it then as well. And he's going to go to combat. Alright, let's hit it. Take it off the board before we can't do anything with it. Our opponent is on 69 cards, so they've already won in my books. But... We'll see. Right. A3-3. Three, three. Could hit him with it. That is a possibility. That is 6 damage as well then. And if he doesn't get a counter on it on his next turn, we can fiery temper it. But we, we're going to take 6 on the crap back as well. We do have collective defiance to do 4 damage to a creature. So even if it does get a, an extra counter... We have things to use on. So, I think we're going to wrangle and take it away from him. Hit him for six. Take the opportunity while he has no blockers to stop this. There we go. Down to 14. 1st hit. And second hit. Alright. Not bad. A two mana deal six damage to your opponent is essentially what that was. Which ain't bad at all. Oh dear. Lone Rider for our opponent. First striking life link. He needs to gain three or more life and he can transform it into a horrible thing. So we don't want that. If we do want to use Collective Defiance, uh, we're going to have to use our energy unless we draw into something nice. like a mountain. That'll do. That'll do. Right. So we could kill his recruit and hit him in the face for three. We could just simply fiery temper it. Uh, maybe on his turn. I'm not sure. Well actually we could air of falcon wrath and then madness out the fiery temper. Yeah. That's probably a better value there. So we get the air of falcon wrath out. 2-1. And then we can discard uh, any time we want. Make it 3-2. Madness out the fiery temper. Kill. Recruit. I don't think he's got pump spells. So we're just going to wait on maybe an aura to come out. Which will be sorcery speed. Which means we can react to it. Declaration in stone. Alright. Now he's forcing us to take this opportunity. Fiery temper. Pay the madness cost. Kill the recruit. Yep. And we get ourselves a clue token, but we do lose our air of Falkenrath. Unfortunately. But that allows us to maintain a little bit of Blessed Alliance. You're going to gain some life. He will be, because he wants to make this guy into a 4 4. But Collective Defiance is fine for that. Okay. 
So we take one, down to 13, he goes up to 19. That life gain might just be enough uh, for him to win this game, actually. As unfortunate as that will be. Another mountain. Okay. So. We're going to be doing 4 damage there, 3 damage for opponent. That's going to leave us with 1 mana left open, so we can't sack a clue. We've already played our land drop, so... We're not going to get any more mana than we have available. Save the Firecraft for later. So I think... Actually... Hmm. So we could Firecraft the It Rides as one. Which allows us to sack a clue. He's not exactly running counter spells, so the spell mastery on this isn't going to make much of a difference. And we could always just use Collective Defiance later on to maybe redraw our hand... We lose one point on our opponent in terms of damage from the burn. But this way we get to sack a clue. And I think that's going to be able to refill our hand for Collective Defiance to maybe redraw if it's bad. And then Lath New Hellion could get in if our opponent has no creatures. Yeah, we definitely cannot allow him to gain any more life though. That is something that cannot happen. So, leave up burn. And also leave up our sacking of the clue. Oh my god, Gisela. Ugh. That's fine. We can get rid of you. Sack this clue. Hopefully find something nice. Fiery temper. It's not bad, actually. And a swamp. So we could collective defiance. Hmm. I want to use as, mo as many modes as we can on that. I suppose we could Fiery Temper and Lath New Hellion. Get rid of the Gisela with the Temper, get in for four. And then we've still got a Collective Defiance over to kill a creature and burn our opponent. Because if we do Collective Defiance for four, we can't do anything else. So, I think killing Gisela, getting in with the Hellion. He's the better play. So, three damage to you. Hellion comes down, swings for four. We're on a uh, an uphill battle here, though, with him being on 19 health. He should already be close to death at this point, but he's gained a lot of life. Seems to be quite lifelink focused. Which is really annoying. Alright, pay the two energy, keep him around. Nice little threat on the board. If he wants to play a little creature, then maybe we can um, force him to chump or even trade. This Hellion's not staying around for another turn, so. As soon as we get this next four in. Ooh, Thalia's Lieutenant. Okay. That's just a 1 1 on its own. No value. And a Nimbus Wings. Alright. We can collective defiance that. So if we drew into, like, not a smuggler's copter. Let's get him for four. He's not likely to block. But if he does, it saves us the effort of collected defiance here. Yeah. Alright, get in for four. And then I think we'll just play smuggler's copter. Can't crew it up just yet though, because we're gonna lose our heli and there's no way to gain energy either. So yeah, let's just let him hit us for two. Can't pay the energy. Hellion goes away. So we need to find a creature. Carries ever be nice. Kithion's irregulars. Makes Thali's Lieutenant into a 3-4. Can still kill it with the Defiance. And that is what I plan to do. Unless we draw into something else that seems more appetizing. Harness Lightning. You can save that for the Irregulars. So, Collected Defiance. 4 to a creature, 3 to an opponent. Take out the Lieutenant before it grows too big. 
shock our opponent or lightning bolt them. There we go. And then just hold up harness lightning. So I've got him back down to eight. We've lost steam, but he has as well, or he's about to, because he's going to try getting for four and he's going to end up losing it. Thalia, before it becomes too expensive to cast Harness Lightning, we need to get rid of the regulars. Preserve our life total. But that is annoying. It's going to make all of our creatures tapped. And our non-basics as well. Ah, carry Zev. Well, we have to play you. Our opponent gets in 4-3 here. Takes us down to 7. But if our opponent wants to get in, then they're dropping their shields later down the line. That being said, they've got no reason not to attack him because we've got a flyer. So even if he leaves back Thalia and another blocker, then we still get in over the top. Visionary Augmenter. Yeah, this is where it comes down to the race now, because I bet he makes servos. Yep. And that's too much for us to keep up with, especially when we're drawing into battlements. So he gets in for three, four, five, six, seven. And we're dead. Uh, well, we can hold back and we can block the 2 1 at least. Um, we could even crew up the Smuggler's Copter to block it, and then we can get rid of this Battlements, maybe find a burn spell for another creature. Angel of Invention, though. That's going to do it. More servos. Going too wide for us to deal with. We're on the back foot, and it's too late to... Oh, he's going for the Life Linker. Well, we're blocking. Seven damage there, so we need to block the Augmenter and trade. We do get to get rid of this Battlements. Which might get us a shock. Ah, but... Hmm. So we're taking four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we need to kill one of the servos. And we live. Down at three. There's no way we're coming back from this. We don't have board wipes, so we're at one. And we cannot possibly draw into three cards. And it's a swamp. That's a shame. Right. Send a message to our opponent that we do not care. We are going to attack you with a monkey. You can gain as much life as you want for blocking said monkey. I don't care. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Yeah. I may have hit you for one, but you gained four. That's going to be game, though. Play a swamp. No cards in hand. GG. It was close. It was close. It's too much life gain for an aggro deck. It's one of the banes of the archetype, of course. Is that your opponent just out life gains your, <laughs> your burn and your aggression. And you lose steam. Bad matchup. We did alright though. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next game. Okay, we're in. This is actually a pretty good hand. We've got a turn two carry Zev. We've got a scrap heap scrounger. If carry Zev dies, we can recur it as well. If we hit another red mana, then we've got fiery temper and carry Zev's expertise. And even an unlicensed disintegration online. Okay, so this hand relies on hitting another mountain at some point. That's pretty much it. Uh, really heavily relies on hitting another mountain at some point. So we'll play our Smoldery Mash, we'll pass the turn. Our opponent is on black, maybe something else. Usually green goes alongside this color, but it is blue-black into Inventor's Goggles. All right, this is an artifact-based deck then. It might be uh, improvised, possibly. Doesn't have metallic rebuke open. Oh, there's a swamp. Awesome. Carries Ev. Yeah, he needs a um, metallic rebuke as improvised, so it costs one blue mana minimum, but you have to tap down two artifacts in order to cast it. So as long as I remember to keep my eye on that kind of thing, 
then we're going to be good. Does have it open now, but you're going to with a filigree familiar. Still going to run our Karizev through it. So he gains two life, and then if it dies, he draws a card as well. But I'm not going to not attack him because he gets to draw a card. Because uh, we kind of really need to push through as much as possible. So we'll do that. And then we'll play our Swamp and probably just a Scrounger. So we do create a 2-1 that he can block and kill his thing with. But it looks like he's not going to do that. That's fine. He wants to keep it around for a little bit. Probably to improvise. And then go away, little manky. Scrounger. Then we'll play Bomat Courier as well. Because we can. I mean, we could see a board wipe here, but we get Scrounger back. And if we hit a mountain, which is entirely what our... Ooh. Okay. Thopter to Spy Network. So if he gets combat damage in with an artifact, he gets to draw a card. Does not swing in with his familiar. If he's not blocking with it, then why is he not attacking with it? This can't block. Maybe that's something he's not noticing. There is that. Because I'm not blocking with the Bomat Courier and I'm probably not wanting to trade with the Scrounger even if I could. Um, I think we just go with a Hellion here and just push through as much damage as possible while he's tapped out. There's four damage coming in. Probably blocks this. Attack with all. So we get a 2-1 token. We get exiling a card underneath the Bomat Courier. That one's probably not going to be as relevant. Uh, since we don't have a mountain and we have a handful of really good cards anyway. So he blocks the Hellion. He gets to draw a card. But he takes a fair whack of damage here. Down to 12. Token goes away, Hellion, we pay the energy to keep it around. So he needs Languish and not Yeheni's Expertise here to wipe our board completely. Makes a Thopter, has Summoning Sickness. It's a decent blocker at the moment. Sunken Hollow. Thing is, if he wants to hold up counters now... Ooh, Daring Demolition, destroy... Target, creature, or vehicle. Okay. Don't see that one very often, but sure. Last new Hellion. Don't necessarily agree with that, since it was going to go away next turn. And there's an Ether Hub, so we have got ourselves our double red, unfortunately. It is one that we have to pay for, so we have to use it sparingly. All right. Still going to swing in with everything, I think. Maybe not the Bomat Courier. I don't know if it's worth the trade there. Um, hmm. He has Metallic Rebuke open as well, so we've got to be aware of that. Hmm. I don't know. I think we won't attack him with the Courier. He's just as likely to block the 2-1 token anyway, so... If he wants to do that and take 4, that's fine with me. Blocks the Scrounger instead. He wants to preserve his life total. Sure. Cool. Token goes away. We go to our next turn. He's down to 9. We really need to hit another mountain here, though. So Disintegration's for 3, that takes him to 6. Then we've got the Firecraft for 4 damage if we hit another Mountain, that takes him to 2. Fiery Temper is lethal. Marionette Master, definitely want to kill you right now before you do anything serious. Kill it. If he sacks, then we lose life equal to the number of counters on it. He's probably going to make servos now though. Yeah, makes three servos. Can stick. Oh no, he can't. It's when the artificer. Never mind. When an artificer enters the battlefield. Right. Harness lightning. Hmm. 
<laughs> so we could carry Zev's expertise, steal his Thopter token, harness lightning, uh, one of the servo tokens, I guess, whenever he goes to chump block so that we can do our thing. Actually, that won't work the way I think it will. Because we don't have double red mana, so we're going to use the energy to use this, which means we can't use any of our other double reds from that point forward. We just need to get two damage in. I think we can do that. He'll swing in, see how he blocks. I can react to it if I don't like it with the Harness Lightning. But I think he likely probably just chumps, chumps, chumps. Takes two and then he dies. Smart. Takes one instead. Alright. Down to five. Sure. Pass the turn. Gets another thought to token. With the Harness Lightning, we're only going to deal one to it as well. So we only have to pay one energy. So we're actually going to be up to three energy on the Ether Hub. Which means we can start using our burn. I think we've got it from that point then. Walking Ballista. X2. Hmm. Alright, let's get rid of a Thopter token. Yep. Pay one. Now we have all of the red mana we need. There's another swamp. That doesn't particularly help us. But I could carry Zev's expertise, steal a Thopter from underneath him. He's gonna sack, block and sack probably. Um, hmm. We could always just Firecraft and Fiery Temper, though. So if we swung in now, he just end steps, kills our, our Scrounger, probably. Let's go to combat. See what he wants to do. Nothing. Alright. Send our Scrounger in. Locks. Takes a counter off the ballista. What does this do again? I should have probably read that. Turn another target artifact from your graveyard. A familiar. That's fine. It's totally fine. It's not. It's probably a punt, to be honest. So that's going to gain him two life to seven. But we still have seven in hand, so... He's going to need an extra point of life in his hand in order to get out of that. But I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have given him the opportunity. Should have read a card I've never seen before. <laughs> never seen used before, anyway. So, he's going to hit us for five in the air, is he? One mana left open. That's fine. You get in for your five. Draw a card. His last card has to be life gain, otherwise he loses. Or a counter, of course, for this fiery temper. Is it a metallic rebuke? It is not. Okay. Takes him to four. Exquisite firecraft is uncounterable, and we have another one as well. And that's game. Alright, made a little punt there, but we got the game anyway, so it does not matter. If you did enjoy the com If you did enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a great deal. Let's me know you're enjoying the series as always. Be sure to stay around for the third episode where we'll make changes to the deck based on your suggestions. So if you do have any changes 
that you think might be good for this deck, then be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon as well to be notified when my next video comes out. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye bye.